Hello, welcome to Sonic Song Pulse. And it's a time of trusting your guidance. It's a time of going with that message that comes really from your heart. And although I have been a man, Patrick, for a long time working with the heart and for a long time talking about this time now, but when it comes to the actual time and place, it still seems a little bit strange. So I'm inviting you into the space as an introduction that takes us from July 31st into Lionsgate and beyond. And why is this all important? If you have never heard or never been interested in what's happening in the stars, in what the energy is of Mother Earth, Pachamama, Papa Tunuku, maybe now is a good time, we are not living in isolation from neither the skies, the cosmos, the universe, neither do we live in isolation from nature and from Earth. And this time, is really a time that allows us to remember that, to remember to unify, and to remember that now is the time that we can get that access and these codes that we have been waiting for for a long time. So what's my message in all of that, Patrick, part of Sonic Songpost in Songpost Worlds, at access point heart. Yes, it's all about the heart. And so the energies are really asking us, do we dare? Do we take this thing serious now? Are we truly ready for this shift? So my questions are, do you dare to shift into homo luminous? The Homo sapiens are about to end, and this is neither good or bad or right or wrong. It's just we have completed that time and we are graduating, if you wish, of Homo, sap of Homo sapiens. The ones that were based in the mind, the ones that were learning about survival, separation, suffering, enslavement, entanglement, and entrapment. We were learning about all these mental and emotional things and how they manifest in our physical bodies. So, are you ready? Do you dare to now shift into Homo Luminous? The men and women of the light that are based, of course, in the heart and we now will vibrate at love. And love has been coming for a long time, but now it's possible. Do you dare to unify to your unique wholeness, your soul, your heart, your source fractal? If you are here for the first time by source fractal, I mean that piece of essence that you are. And by unify, I mean, are you ready to embody your unique wholeness in its whole, in its body? Are you ready to be the source fractal, ever creating, ever evolving, ever connected, yet timeless and spaceless? Do you dare to step into the collective wholeness, your collective wholeness, your cosmic kin, your monad, your soul family, your spirit guides? And again, are you ready? Do you dare to embody it all in this body that you are currently being given, that life that you have chosen? We have a little bit more daring here 
It's also about accepting the support that is given and being part of the support that is needed. No, this cannot be done on our own, but we are not alone. So it is about offering that support, offering to be of service, offering whatever gifts, whatever art you have to share in order to receive the support. It's about being in Aini, that beautiful, sacred, reciprocal relationship that the Inca were teaching us long time ago. Do you dare to enter these new octaves of consciousness? The Aquarian why? It is really time for all these questions as they are finding their way into your heart. The universe, the stars are beckoning. Do you hear? The lunar notes, our destiny, beyond fears and habits and survival modes. Do you dare to break the old? Do you dare to dance to your rhythms in harmony and out of harm? Do you dare to come into the center of your being? Do you dare to accept your creativeness? power to create? Do you dare to step up and in at access point heart? So yes, we are at this crucial choice point for us uniquely and collectively. But we're also at the nexus point for humanity, for earth and for the cosmos. We are rebirthing we're coming back into the old rhythms, the old rhythms that are yet new, beyond the death, beyond the right and wrong, beyond all that was limited by two. Are you ready for this anchor point that is given to us and above? And so, my guidance is to bring you three videos. Yes, they will be spoken on 432 hertz and pictures to go with. And this is also part of the guidance to share it this way with you. So on the 1st of August, as we are going into this full moon in Aquarius, there is a medicine wheel ceremony coming your way. On August the 8th, we will go on a ride through the Lion's Gate to truly embrace what is coming to us. And on August 11th, we will figure out together how to compose our own music and harmonies, our heart song and our integrity signature. When I talk about integrity, I'm talking about the integrity of our wholeness, our voice and poise to prepare for this amazing and exponential shift, but also the tests and turbulence that allow us to get there. So thank you for tuning in today, thank you for being here and find more of course in the, in the comments in regards to links and how to find us and all of that and what else is going on and we'll see you on the 1st of August for the full moon. Much love your way.